Welcome to Fancast. Welcome to MMA Fancast. My name is Luke Payson. Welcome back to everyone who's already a subscriber to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe so you can see more great interviews, including the one coming at you right now. First time guest on the show about ready to make his amateur MMA debut for 247 Fighting Championships Brawl in the Berg 21, April 20th, under two weeks away now. Welcome to the show, Fred Malander. Fred, great to have you. What's up? Well, it's always exciting to have a, a, a new person on the show. We will get to your upcoming uh, debut fight, which is now under a week and a half away, close to a week away now at this point, uh, as we near towards April 20th. But let's go backwards. What can you tell us as far as your uh, your athletic journey, what type of sport did you enjoy or do as a kid growing up recently, kind of pre MMA? What were your what was your athletic uh, focuses? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I didn't play much sports sports, and uh, I kind of just you know went to work, so I didn't really go to school, or I'm sorry, I didn't really go play any sports really as a as a young teenager. Um, and then I got into boxing at about eight or about twenty years old. I got into boxing. Okay. Well, uh, what gym did you start at and, and what got you connected and interested in boxing? So um, I didn't start at any gym. Uh, I had a roommate. Um, I went to high school with him and he needed a roommate. And um, he trained out of uh, MCS in um, somewhere in Ohio. I don't know exactly where in Ohio. Um, and he had been doing MMA for, you know, five or six years at the time. And um, we were just living together. And, you know, uh, he worked out all the time and he offered to he offered and invited me to work out with him. And he taught me a little bit of boxing and it kind of just stemmed from there. Um, and now I train out of top tier. I've been a top tier for about a year and a half now. OK. And mm -hmm. what was it like? Uh, it's obviously exciting when you start kind of just among friends and you're kind of Absolutely. training each other. I think a lot of kickboxers, boxers, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, MMA all start that way. Um, what's top tier been like? What has your experience been since you got there and what's training at top tier like for you? Yeah, top tier is fantastic. Um, it was really the jump that I needed to go from where I was, which I had I had an OK understanding of the basics of boxing. Um, and then I joined top tier and, and uh, they were able to show me how to throw, you know, good kicks, learn that technique. They really helped me. Um, the, all the people there just really helped me, uh, you know, find out the basics of, of kickboxing. Um, and a lot of them even like to roll around sometimes. And so we would wrestle, do some jujitsu and they would teach me what they know. And I would just pretty much, I just went there and became a sponge and just absorbed as much knowledge as I could. Okay. And you said you've been there for a little over a year. So what makes now, a good time for you to make your debut did a coach say you're ready and then contact the legendary matchmaker for 247 Jim Mooney or kind of how how this fight uh come together yeah um I don't know I just I just kind of want to see what I'm made out of uh my buddy like I said who I who I uh, lived with and got me on this path um he you know brought up the fact that he's like you know we you could do this if you wanted to your skills are there um said we can coach you and do a camp and I'll help you through everything you need to help with. And um, I figured, you know, why not? I have, you know, nothing better to do. I learned how to do the sport. I, I feel like I'm pretty good at it. Um, and I want to, I want to know what it's like to, to be in that octagon and to dig deep and figure out what I'm made out of. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. And and now uh, give us your thoughts a little bit more on the April 20th. You're matched up against another debuter, your debuter, he's a debuter. A lot's going to be figured out when you're in there. So uh, what are your thoughts going into it? Do, do, do you have sort of some expectations for yourself? What are your thoughts on the Brawl in the Berg 21, 247 Fighting Championships at a great event, a great location uh, of the Meadows, Hollywood Casino at the Meadows? So what are your thoughts on that actual matchup? Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, that's the main thing. I'm so excited. I'm nervous, obviously. Um, I feel like if you weren't nervous, you know, you wouldn't be really ready for for it but i'm just so excited to get in there and kind of show everybody what i'm capable of doing um i i just i don't really have any predictions so far other than the fact that um i want to be able to go out there and and just give it everything i got you know go out on my shield uh you know there's no quit so whatever happens is what's going to happen okay and uh that's a great attitude there's a lot that you'll be figuring out when you're in there what yeah. do you think will be what do you think will be the uh, most uh, thing you're looking forward to the most? Obviously, a walkout can be a big deal. You're going to be warming mm -hmm. up. You're going to have guys in your corner. There's going to be the actual fight. 
Are you looking most for the striking part because you came from a boxing uh, focus? Are you looking forward to the grappling or the jujitsu? Like, well, what do you think you're looking forward to the most? Yeah, I think I'm just looking forward to getting out there and, like I said, showing uh, my skills, showing my friends and family and um, people that are just a fan of the sport um, what I'm capable of doing, um, the skill set that I have that I can bring to the table. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going out here for a good time. You know, let's let's fight. I want to – I'm just excited to do it. I'm okay. going to with the Pittsburgh area. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, top tier. I think we've had some top tier yeah. guys before. I was just trying to place uh, – just trying to figure out and place yeah. where – you know, a place where it is. Um, but so, in the crowd. It's fantastic. They can stream at uh, 247fighting.com or Absolutely. it's even more exciting than the website at times for the pay-per-view is to download the 247 Live app on any uh, smart device. Sometimes, you know, Absolutely that can be a, a good quality 247 Live app. Uh, that's really exciting. Congratulations uh, to you and your wife for still being in the first year of marriage. Very, very exciting. Cool that you've been it together is. so long since your teenage uh, years. I'm sure she'll be excited and nervous, but still, it's a great opportunity uh, for you. What do you do during the day? What's your day job? Obviously, this is something you're excited about, kind of a side hobby. What, what What's the, the main right. thing you do? Uh, the main thing I do, I, I, uh, I'm a commercial roofer, so it's not – like regular shingle roofs, like on houses that go to, uh, you know, big box office stores like Walmart or uh, right now I'm at the Steubenville Hospital working on their roofs. Um, so just commercial roofing, uh, you know, that's what I do. Well, that is a physical job. You get you get tied off. You're Absolutely. always on, you're always on a harness. Absolutely. Always safe. If I'm near the edge, I got the harness on. I, got, I would assume got a with commercial on. roof. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, keeps you keeps you active. Now at the Absolutely. commercial sites, do they? Do they kind of bring all the shingles up to the top on like a, a belt and pulley system? Or are you doing the 60 pounds on your shoulder? Like, I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, so, yeah, we don't do shingles. We do like rubber roofs. Um, Gravel, rubble. Roofs. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And so they're like really big, long tubes are probably like about, um, you know, 12 feet long. Um, they're about 100 feet rolls of, of rubber or PVC or whatever roof we're doing. And it'll get lifted up by a crane. You'll have a hard hat on. And it's, it's a whole, yeah, it's a whole it's a whole commercial operation. Sure. Well, that's, that's really cool. We had, uh, he's actually a former two, four, seven pro champ. John De Jesus was okay. a professional, uh, professional arborist tree climber, did a lot of the high tie off cutting, cutting trees. And, yeah. and he just kind of talked about that as a pro MMA fighter, you know, getting paid to, to work and stay busy and stay in shape. And sometimes he would, lift some extra tree branches you know so it is yeah, something that keeps you busy absolutely. and, and it, 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 it's definitely it's definitely good it's well, another I, workout for the day it, you get the you get some base workout for sure and yeah i get paid to work out <laughs> there you go well that is really cool and uh it's always fantastic having uh, a new guest on the show so i really appreciate you taking time out congratulations both to you and your wife absolutely Thank you. marriage and on your upcoming debut can't wait to see you get tickets through 247fighting.com or the 247 Perfect. Live app. Make sure you give Fred Bounder <clears throat> credit um, if you're there to watch him. And uh, can't wait to see you in action April 20th, Brawl on the Bird 21. You've been listening to Luke Payson from MMA Fancast and first time guest on the show, Fred Bounder. Thanks so much for coming on, Fred. Thank you for having me. You take care. Thank you, you too.